somebody off the pavement onto the dirt. Um, killed an awesome buck a couple days ago. Had a big dropper, narrow, heavy buck. It was super fun. And now I'm switching areas. Um, took care of the meat. I'm getting here and uh, got a couple days left in the season to try to get another one. So we'll see what happens. Weather should be okay. It might be a little too warm, but it's still, it's kind of mornings and nights are freaking cold and windy. And yeah, it's been, it's been good. So see if we can get another one. Well, there's my backup buck. I found him last night. Uh, his right side's awesome. I can't tell what's going on on his left. He's either broke or short on his back. Super heavy wide. And there's three guys watching him way up above. So he might not be a backup buck for long, but I don't know. I've been waiting for the sun to even tell what he is. I think he's gonna get a shot here. All right, I've seen this buck two two days now. He's got everything you want. He's old, heavy, big, mature body on him, an older deer. Uh, but I've watched him, watched him. He's missing something. He's broke or, or done something on his his front left. So it kind of sucks. I, I was ready to kill him this morning. Anyways, just keep sifting through bucks and see if we can find him. Cool buck. Middle of the day, come to a new area. Yeah, their body's in the shade. They forget about their antlers sometimes. If that was a doe, we'd know where to saw. Last time I was in here, it was the first morning I was here, and it was the first buck I saw, essentially, this whole hunt. And then somehow, it was managed to get this whole thing in the park. Came back in here, 10 days later, and a little extra, kind of, kind of good looking head on, but he's not a monster by any means, but the best buck I've seen the whole time.
smoking this car out and uh, I'll come sit down and stand up. Simple shot. About 350 yards. You can see him as soon as in there. I shot that coyote. The coyote was still alive, kind of, and ran right to the buck. Where the buck was bedded. And his one doe he was with this morning is now walking into his uh, bedroom. He's bedded right in there somewhere. Right there somewhere. I'm assuming. That's where I last saw him. So, let's go up over there and hold some attention. Alright, I've decided if he doesn't show her a little attention, if he's in there, I might old school this and walk straight at him and make it happen. I'm only at 340 right now, so there's another hill between me and the buck. I'm getting impatient, I guess. Where he's bedded if he stands up and I miss or hit. If he goes down, he's out of my sight. That's my only worry right now. You always gotta watch the magpies. That magpie just came from the, the clump of bushes that the buck should be in. So that's a good sign. But you don't like that. Well, I was uh, clear up there. He was bedded in wherever he's dying, wherever he's dead. I don't know where the heck he went. He never showed up the other side. He must have just felt safe in there. Best way to get around there. I come out the line. Man, I thought he was. If it wasn't for that magpie, I think I would have gave up. I just walked down here. We got him. Somebody, it looked like he'd been grazed or something by a bullet. Pretty sweet buck. I could see uh, before I shot the last time, looked like he had been grazed by a bullet, but pretty awesome buck. Pull him out of there. 
Heck yeah, he's actually better than I thought. Oh. Get him out of there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he's a little better than I thought. I mean, I passed him the first morning I was here. And, uh... I was okay with it, just because I had a lot of days to hunt and two tags, so it's a pretty sweet buck.